Hey everyone, and welcome to part four of our Getting Started series. Uh, up until this point, we've done uh, some configuration on our uh, categories and accounts. Uh, we've initialized our accounts, and we've also funded a couple of categories um, on the dashboard. So now we're up to the point where uh, we're actually ready to start using our budget. Uh, we've got all of our categories planned. Um, we've got our funds added, so so we're ready to, to start recording some transactions as we uh, as we spend money in daily life. Um, so to get things started, I'll just uh, show you how to add a couple of transactions. You can see I'm over now on the transactions tab. Um, so I'm going to go through and uh, and add a transaction here. As an example, I'm going to say that I spent 1050 uh, on lunch. So I'm going to pick my appropriate category. I, I spend lunch out of my dining out category. And for my account, I'm going to pick my checking account. Uh, I happen to use my debit card for that transaction. So that was the account it was tied to. Uh, and then I'm going to call this for now. I'm going to go ahead and call this transaction uh, as settled or cleared. And I'm going to select the uh, green check mark there from the drop down. So that's my first transaction there. You can see over in the dashboard uh, for my dining out category, the available amount has updated. I, I've spent some money there, so it's down just a little bit from what it was uh, just a minute ago. And then I can see that uh, I have 1050 of recorded activity uh, against this category for the month over in the activity section. Um, and because I did use my uh, checking account, uh, debit card for my checking account, my account balance has been updated here over on the left uh, to reflect that transaction. So let's add a couple more uh, and use some various other accounts. So I'm going to say I also spent $12 on uh, groceries. I had to stop by the grocery store and pick up something really quick. Um, and I, for this particular transaction, I used one of my credit cards. Um, because maybe I get rewards points or, or, or something else, whatever it was. I happen to use my credit card for that transaction, uh, and I'm just going to call this groceries. And I'm also going to call this transaction as settled. Um, okay, so to give you an idea <clears throat> of how some of the credit card functionality works, um, you can see first over in the groceries uh, category, this it was reduced again a little bit, um, 363 as opposed to 375, so we did spend that $12.00 from that category um, and credit cards are really special uh, if you set them up the way that we talked about earlier um, because uh, a credit card payment uh, comes up later uh, it's kind of like a, a payment that you do make from your checking account essentially what uh, what we've done uh, for the for the time being kind of in this middle period between you spending the money and actually paying your credit card bill is we've moved the money from the groceries uh, into the, the the credit card account um, so that means that, uh, we've saved those funds essentially for the payment itself, uh, later. So those, those dollars, they had a job, uh, and that uh, first job we gave them was to, um, was to be used for groceries. Uh, and then after we used them for groceries, the, the, those dollars happen to have a new job now, uh, which is to pay off the credit card. Um, so you'll see that they end up here, uh, in this credit card category until we pay our credit card. Uh, later. So, and again, credit cards are special. Um, they'll have a couple of, of, of videos later um, that you can dive into more details on there. Um, and just for example, you can see that because I did use my credit card, uh, my balance there did change from 75 to 87 dollars. Um, okay, so let's add a couple more transactions here. Um, let's say I did stop off and make one more purchase. Uh, at the gas station, I did uh, fill my car up, so I'm going to use gasoline there, um, and I did use my credit card for that as well. Uh, now this credit, this uh, uh, this particular transaction, we're going to say that it has not settled, uh, right? So it's it's pending currently on my account. Um, they uh, a lot of gas stations will do a kind of a, a pending charge um, before it settles a couple of days later. Um, so I'm going to remind myself that this is still pending, um, and that helps me know um, that I still need to come back and check this transaction to make sure it cleared properly, um, to make sure that that $30 did balance out to what I actually spent. Um, this is also really helpful for uh, tipping at a restaurant. Um, for example, if I um, left my card and I uh, or used my card to pay for something, and uh, and I did leave a tip on the card, I can come back and put that in here. Um, the outflow would be the actual amount I spent plus the tip, uh, and then when that transaction settles, uh, I can come in and verify that that settled correctly, um, and I can guess, I can change this from a pending transaction to a cleared transaction. 
Um, so that's how to do uh, pending transactions. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do an example of uh, when I receive a paycheck. Um, so let's say I received uh, a paycheck for this uh, first couple of weeks of this month. Uh, so that was uh, $1,500 in my paycheck. I'm going to come down and I'm going to select the category as available to budget. Um, this helps me know um, later down the road that this money can be used. And you'll see the dashboard update with that extra $1,500 here in just a second. Um, the, the paycheck was deposited into my checking account. And I'm going to go ahead and call that a uh, cleared transaction as well. Um, and you can see that this is yellow. Um, this is yellow because uh, up at the category selector here, um, depending on the category you have selected, uh, it, it, it highlights for you um, the categories down below so they're easy to find. So if I change it to dining out, you can see dining out highlights uh, and this available to budget does not. Um, so I've added a paycheck there and just to verify that that did go into available to, available to budget, I can see that my available to budget amount has gone up uh, by that paycheck amount and also my category, uh, my checking account uh, account there value has has also increased by that by that paycheck amount. Um, so some people, uh, depending on how you do your budgets, uh, you may choose to, to budget that money immediately uh, once you receive the paycheck. Um, other folks may wait until the start of the next month um, and then budget that those funds for the month ahead. Um, that really depends on on your particular system. Um, there's uh, a variety of different ways you can do it, and just uh, you'll none none of them are necessarily wrong. You'll just have to find the way that works for you best. Um, so uh, finally, uh, we'll go over briefly here what it means to to reconcile your accounts. Um, so you can see up at the top left here, uh, I haven't reconciled my reconciled my accounts yet um, because uh, I don't have a date here in this box that tells me that I did. Um, so reconciling accounts really means um, that I'm looking at uh, the values on these accounts and verifying when I sign into those banks um, that the amount that they say I have and the amount that my budget says I have that they match. Um, so that can either be uh, checked here on the on the dashboard um, or also we have a we have a helpful uh, balances tab which breaks down. Uh, pending and settled balances there. So that's really helpful for credit cards and things that uh, for uh, transactions that are pending for a couple of days. You can really see that broken out. Um, and that's why that pending drop down is really helpful as well. So once I've once I've verified that my budget uh, account values match my actual bank account values, I can come in and I can pick the third option here in the list, which is a reconciliation uh, entry. And I can pick the day that I reconciled my accounts there. And I see up here at the top left that my accounts were reconciled on 5-9. Um, reconciling is, is really important uh, for accounts that just make sure that um, you're actually budgeting the money that you that you think that you have. You're verifying that those funds actually exist. Um, that's a really good thing to do. I try to do mine personally about once a week. Um, uh, the tool itself will remind you um, if it's been more than two weeks since you've reconciled your accounts. So that's something that you really want to work into your system of budgeting uh, is, is having a healthy reconciliation uh, uh, priority there. So and then uh, that's really it uh, for the transactions tab. Um, we've done a couple of examples of adding transactions with different accounts. Uh, we've talked about how to do uh, settled versus pending transactions. And we've also talked about how to do inflows. Uh, from things like paychecks uh, and also reconciled accounts. Um, so that's the, the transactions tab at a brief overview. And, uh, and that's it for this one.